To define the existing ground from features, you click here, and then you choose Feature Surface. These controls allow us to define the existing ground using elevation features. Just like for editing site plans, we can see the other project content behind the features we are editing. This can be helpful to align items together, however, this view can become cluttered, and it's also possible to pop out to a separate window to edit the feature surface on its own. All the controls are the same in this view, and we can pop the controls back in by pressing this button here. So to create a feature surface, we must define site outlines, and we can add within them any combination of contour lines, break lines, and points. Each type of feature can be defined by drawing on the screen, by clicking on this button, or they can be loaded in from a file with this button. We will start by defining the outline of the site. On this occasion, we will draw the outline on the screen. So I click on Outlines, and then here, Draw, Extrapolate, and I click on these four points. If I make a mistake, I can click on Backspace and I can correct my mistake. To complete, I right click and then click on Finish. Now we will demonstrate importing features from a file by loading contour lines. These have been created in a CAD program. In this form, we simply select the layers containing the elements we want to import, and they will be loaded as contour lines. If our terrain has hard edges, we could also draw or import break line features. These are lines, but the level varies along their length, unlike contours. We could use these to define the tops and bottoms of marked embankments, for example, however this drawing doesn't have any break lines for the existing surface. Point levels can also be drawn manually or loaded in from a file. Supported formats include Excel, CAD, and any text file formats such as CSV or XYZ. In this example, we don't have any point levels in our existing de definition. Once we are happy with the features that, that define our existing terrain, we can click on the OK button, and the software will generate an existing surface from the features we have defined. 